Welcome back to John Cleese Car Audio's YouTube channel. My name is Connor and today I'm going to go you run you through a little double din installation we've done in a 2016 roughly Vauxhall Vivaro. This unit has had the Kenwood solution product from ourselves which is the DMX 8021, that unit there. One of our most popular radios right now. Awesome unit. It's got three year warranty on it when we're installed by a premier center like ourselves. Wireless Apple CarPlay is automatically connected from my phone, turn the car on, no leads plugged in. So now I can go through, look at apps like navigation apps like Apple Maps, Google Maps is here, and even Waze navigation, or if you pay for it, you can also have TomTom. Customer can also use music streaming apps like YouTube Music, Tidal, Spotify, Deezer, Apple Music. You've also got access to internet radio apps. So if you go into an area, there's no DAB coverage, you can use apps like TuneIn Radio, Virgin Radio, Kistery app, KissCube app, the lot. So extremely useful applications to use and nothing that you wouldn't want to have in the car. It's already worked out I'm going to be going home soon, hopefully. We've got wireless Android Auto as well. So if you're not an Apple user, your phone wirelessly connects to an Android phone. This customer has also gone for a few other optional extras as well. So we've got a reverse camera fitted. So if I was to select reverse, it's going to come up on the screen automatically like that. You've got some guidelines as well. That's overlaid by the Kenwood screen, which actually can be moved around depending on your preference to the width of the vehicle or how far back you want the red line to be, for example. Customers also gone for a reverse, uh, uh, dash cam, which is the official Kenwood DRV520 dash cam, which is mounted there. Now this camera, uh, there's a lot of dash cams you can obviously fit, but this is the only one that's gonna work through the screen control. So if I push the little handy camera button there, We've now got the front dash cam view on the screen and we can even, while we're not in reverse, actually select the rear camera as well. So you can even look at the reverse cam whilst going forwards, should you want to. Now, when you go into the dash cam, obviously you do not need to see what the dash cam is viewing. You can see out the window yourself. But what's handy is you can go into the settings and change all the settings for the camera and even view playback footage straight from the screen. So you don't have to take the card out and put it in your laptop. You don't have to use your mobile phone with an application. It can be viewed on the screen itself. Real nice functionality on this Kenwood. Extremely easy to use. One of the more intuitive models out there on the market. Now let's go and show you what the camera looks like from outside because obviously you've seen the view, but you might want to have a look at what the camera looks like on this Vivaro. This camera here actually replaces the brake light, as you can see there. Literally, it is a camera built into the brake light on the back of the Vivaro, so real nice, tidy installation and a good perspective view. Because of how high it is, when you're in, obviously, on the reverse screen, you get a good image. You can actually see the doors and you can see far back, which means you can actually judge how, how far you're back rather than relying on just parking sensors. Anyway, I've waffled on for long enough on this Vivaro installation. I won't go any for and bore you anymore. But if you like what you see, you know what to do. Drop a comment, subscribe to our channel if you don't mind. We love the support. Or you can drop us an email or send us a message on WhatsApp on our very handy number that is on our website. But for now, signing off. It's Connor. See you later.